Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here from Pragmatic Works and welcome to the second part of the AI in the Power Query series. Today we're going to be talking about the fuzzy merge option with inside the Power Query editor and I get this question a lot. What is the fuzzy merge? Well, this is going to allow us to combine similar uh, names with inside or similar text with inside of the Power Query. So we're going to have a employee table that has our employee names and then we're going to have a sales table where the names could be spelled differently. But what we want to do is we want to be able to return the information regardless whether or not the name is spelled correctly or not. So let's go ahead and jump right into the Power Query and get started. So here I am inside the Power Query editor and you can see I have this employee table. So myself, Matt and Jonathan are here inside the employee table. And there's also a sales table, very basic. These are just Excel tables. So notice that in this case, my name is spelled with a lowercase j instead of capital. In this second case, my name is spelled incorrectly. As we look down here for Matthew, we can see that Matthew is spelled differently in this case. And in this case, it's spelled with a lowercase m. And Jonathan is also spelled incorrectly. So as we look at our employee table and we go to try to return the information based on the matching names, it's going to be difficult because the names aren't going to match. So as we would perform this merge onto our employee table, so I'll just go the traditional route of how we would approach a merge. So we would then select the first name and the salesperson. All right, so notice that it says the selection matches zero of three rows of the first table, meaning that there were no matching rows from these tables. If I were to click OK to verify this, you'll notice that inside of each table, if I look down here, I get a preview of the information. The table's empty. For every single one of these tables, it's empty because it's not able to match based on that name. So as we go back and modify this merge, so I'm going to click on the gear icon over here in the applied step section. That's going to bring the UI back. What I'm going to use is the fuzzy matching option, the fuzzy merge option here. So as we scroll down and look inside, there are some options available. The similarity threshold or how close the values or the text need to match. So 1.00 is they have to match exactly. The default for this is 0.8 or 80%. Zero means that anything is going to be returned. Notice that now once I change the similarity threshold, okay, so there's a hundred. If I put in 0.8, Notice that it's now allowed to validate the information. You can also, once again, just bring it down to zero. You can ignore cases. So ignoring the casing, upper or lower casing, match based on text parts. All right, so you have several options available. You can also change the maximum number of matches if you want to limit to how many uh, return, or you can also determine uh, what table you want to put that in as well. So once I click OK, what we're going to notice is that with inside of these tables, I'm now going to have information. So I can see down in this table that I've selected that I have both my names for Jeremiah. If I look into Matt's table, notice that both values are now there and Jonathan as well. Even though the name is spelled incorrectly, it's still going to return that amount. So using the fu fuzzy merge option with inside of the UI is going to allow you to match similar information. So I'm going to go ahead and bring back that sales amount. All right. And notice that now my name is spelled correctly with the correct amount. So is Matthew. So is Jonathan. Pretty cool, right? So 
the UI allows us, the, the fuzzy merge allows us to match similar text values when you're using a merge with inside the Power Query. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get more content and look out for my third video, which is dealing with the add column from example, but all the date time transformations that are automatic with inside of that. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.